Hey, thanks for joining in today. We are looking at a pair of bourbon Shell Cordoban Carmina tassel overs, and we are going to clean them up and give them a nice mirror shine. To start, I want to just do you know a quick glance over of what they currently look like or what they look like at the beginning of this video, and then we'll have a, you know a point of reference to go back at the at the end. But let's get started with the products. So we have the cleaner conditioner and the neutral cream and uh, very similar in purpose, but I'm gonna use the neutral cream because it's gonna allow me to uh, clean them, condition them, but with a much gentler uh, recipe of oils. So just clean these off real quick. Um, I usually use a mix of the pig bristle brush that you saw just before and this horsehair brush I'm using now. And that's just my personal preference. But the initial step here is going to be, uh, you know, just applying small amounts of neutral cream using a cotton t-shirt over the surface to kind of get rid of any surface dirt and make sure that we have a, a clean clean shoe with no imperfections. Kind of repeat the same process on the on the left shoe here. And uh, again, the, the main purpose that we want to accomplish here is any old polishes off, any surface dirt, kind of clean up any scuffs potentially that may have accumulated and really just kind of prep it for the next step or the main step of this process, which is shining them. So here is what they look like after the neutral cream has, has dried. One point I'll you know, uh, kind of make a note of here is this little watermark or kind of oil stain. Not sure exactly what it is, but it'll eventually come out. I'm not too worried about it right now. But now we're just going to use the pig bristle brush to start here to buff off the cream. And then we'll do the horse hair. Um, just let me give you a close up here to kind of see the difference. You can really see the difference, how like dense the brush is, but also how stiff the bristle is. Um, these are both from Soji Works. One, one of the biggest factors with uh, Shell Cordovan is, is brushing them. You'll hear that a lot. I'll say that a lot. And I truly believe that's, you know, a huge factor in making sure that your shell Cordovan shoes look really nice. Now the amount, there's there's no like magic equation to figure it out. It's really a, a matter of continuing to brush until you get the result that you want. And then you kind of get a feel for what it takes to, you know, get the shoe or get another shoe brushed up uh, sufficiently. So as I just finished brushing, buffing off the cream here, we're going to move into the paste. Um, I'm using the light brown paste. You can see it's obviously a pretty fair match. What I'm doing with this is I'm just going to build a, a base layer, mainly on the toes and the heels. And the reason for the base layer is while the shell or while any leather is a, you know, it's a smooth leather, obviously, unless you have a grain, but smooth leathers. You want to, you know, have a, a clean surface, um, imperfection free surface where you can continue to build those wax layers up. And that is what it creates the mirror shine, because if you have layers that have imperfections, like the light is not going to reflect properly and you're going to have a cloudy mirror shine. So we want to kind of start doing a nice base layer and then we'll buff this off 
and kind of reevaluate and see what the next step is because Shell's a little bit different than Calf as far as a mirror shine goes. So we'll kind of discuss that as we go through the layers here. One distinction between Calf and Shell for mirror shine is the amount of water that I use. I'm going to use significantly less water. And that's mainly just because I want to rely on the oil, the waxes, and the heat and friction kind of generated from the cloth to get those waxes to stick and create that smooth uh, base layer and then, you know, final layer eventually. But we'll, we'll get to that part. So the next step here, now that I've buffed off the... Uh, the paste is that I'm going to apply the high shine paste with my finger to uh, kind of replicate what I did on the first base layer with the with the pigmented paste. And this is just going to kind of, you know, apply a, a, an additional base layer, but with the harder waxes from the high shine. And then we'll kind of proceed to buff this off again using very minimal water to uh, avoid any you know imperfections or kind of oversaturation of the of the waxes which can um, whenever you move from one stage to the next you definitely want to make sure that you're using a clean part of the cloth because when you get to this buffing stage here you're not adding any water or product if you're using a part of the cloth that has you know residual paste on it it's going to create streaks and that's going to prevent the the you know the paste from shining up it's going to prevent that mirror shine but what what i'm going to be doing here is just adding a little bit of the light brown paste and adding that from the toe to the heel along the outside bottom of the upper right along the welt not a lot but really just enough to raise that shine a little bit and that will aesthetically tie that shine from the front to the back of the shoe which um, really creates the kind of pleasing aesthetic that you see often with high shines so now moving into this kind of final buffing of the hard waxes is again the most important part of preparing for the step is using a clean part of the cloth but at this point no additional waxes are getting applied this is strictly just the friction a little bit of water and you know flattened out smoothed down so that it, you know there are no imperfections and that the mirror shine really begins to to raise to the surface here basically at this point Another important note, and this kind of applies to, you know, really any high shine, any mirror shine, is the circular buffing is great for generating the heat, but you always, or at least my opinion is you always want to kind of finish with, you know, straight, uh, straight motion front to back, because that is what will avoid any like swirls and will create kind of a smooth appearance of the mirror shine as we kind of take a final look at the at the final product here and you can see that that shine kind of getting tied from the front to the back it makes the shoe look uh you know much more balanced perfect so as we are wrapping up today i'll leave the the steps that we followed here in the description so you can always refer back to those but i do want to call out the ashland leather Capone money clip giveaway that we are doing this week in uh, and that's in natural shell quarterman but all you need to do is like and comment on this video subscribe to the channel and then head on over to my shelvage Instagram account and make sure that you like today's post comment on it and then obviously follow that as well and a week from today I will do a live random winner selection on YouTube so please make sure to participate in that. And as always, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications to find out about the next video that we release here. Thanks for watching and have a great week.